Hey, what's going on? I have three, only three cards that came in today that I'm going to show. I've been picking up some stuff for this, that, and the other. Today happens to be a combination of three players who are in baseball and football legends and or Hall of Fame PC. I've really enjoyed getting back into the swing of things, hobby and collecting. Uh, but I want to say one thing. I love making videos. I kind of ramped up my efforts and got excited again to do some breaks. I want to do trades. I want to do that fun stuff. What I didn't get back into this for was for people to be sending me all kinds of stuff. I don't want that. And to be doing like secret stuff behind my back, that's, that makes me uncomfortable. That's not what I got back into this for and kind of put myself back at this elevated level of doing stuff again. So that being said, fair enough. I'm just going to show you what I got. This is uh, Donruss Signature Series 2005. Joe Nathan autograph. Beautiful autograph there, even though it's on a sticker. It's a nice looking auto. And out of Spectra from 2016, number to 30, Greg Olson, autograph and uh, one color tampon. Nice card. Greg Olson's had a fantastic career. I love that guy. And this is a guy who for the longest time I've really wanted an autograph of, and I finally got one at a great price, number to 50, Foundations of Greatness, beautiful autograph, Barry Larkin. So you can get a look at that, my squeaky chair. He has a great autograph and that is a beautiful card. I don't think the light in here does it any justice at all. So those are those three cards there and well, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not feeling very well. Dad, you okay? What's wrong? I hate the Green Bay Packers. Michael, honey, what's wrong? I hate the goddamn Packers! <laughs> I know, I, I don't have any good reason. I mean, they're good. They're really good. Crying all out, I mean, I have nothing but respect for how good they are. I just can't help myself. I mean, it is what it is. Because you hate the goddamn Packers! That's right. I, I hate them with every ounce of my soul. It doesn't make me a bad person. Just because I get pissed off once in a while. Because they win every freaking game that they extend. They get every freaking call they want. I just can't help it. Because you hate the fucking Packers! I, I, I do, I do. See, he hates them too. I mean, fuck. Packers fans are obnoxious. The only other fans in the NFL that are as not obnoxious as the Packers are the Cowboys. I know this. I've been to games with both of them. And I've seen them. They fucking piss me off. I mean, how does Green Bay end up with a team anyways? Seriously. Green Bay is like the Ozarks of the upper Midwest. Let's talk about number 12 for a little, a little bit. I mean, this guy is not as credit worthy as everybody says he is. For fuck's sake, what about his offensive line and the time they give him? If, if I got eight, nine, or 10 seconds to extend plays, I guarantee that my old ass could scramble out and hit the sixth string receiver on that team. Yeah, he extends plays. That's awesome. He doesn't audible very much. In fact, he's in the bottom one-third of the league in audibles. What does he do? He steps up, puts his hands under center, looks over and gives a little wink to a guy on his left or a wink to a guy on his right who has the hot route. That's not an audible. What he does do well, he alters the snap count. He's pretty good at that. Although, I'm not convinced at this point that he's not just really choking on Joe Buck's cum. And let's talk about Joe Buck for a minute. This guy is the worst fucking commentator on TV. And it's not even close. Look, you will never, ever 
Be your dad. Deal with it. You're overdramatic, you're out of touch, and you're gay. Nobody ever played with him on the playground, and now he thinks he's the man. Oh, the great Aaron Rodgers. The great Aaron Rodgers. Look, if you want him to blow you, just pick up your phone and give him a call. Stop going through your foreplay with him on TV and making all of us watch it. It's pathetic. In fact, why don't you call up Clayton Kershaw and Aaron Rodgers and get together and have a three-way with them. I'm sure they'd be interested, although number 12 might balk at the idea because you don't look like a 12-year-old boy. Green and gold. Green and gold. What do I associate with green and gold? Well, how about lemons and limes? Take a bite, they both make you make a face, right? Snot and mucus. Swallow some of that. Those are things that I associate with Green Bay. Oh, and shamrocks and penalty flags. Enough said. <sighs> Fuck. I mean, my disdain for the Green Bay Packers runs deep. Give me a break. Give Ripkowski a razor. Give Joe Buck a whitewashed facial. Give the Green Bay offensive line a little credit. Give number 12 a free pass in a daycare. Give the refs a few more yellow flags. Give Mike McCarthy another burger. Give Ty Montgomery the flu. Give the Falcons a shot at the Super Bowl. Give Matt Ryan the MVP. And give the Green Bay fucking Packers a one-way ticket to fucking hell!